Welcome to Global Insiders Podcast. I am Ryan, the Perpetic One, bringing you information about opportunities relating to jobs, traveling, and any information that can elevate you to your rightful place in this thing called life. You can find more information and how to methods on globalinsidersgroup.com. That is insiders with an S. And here is today's show. Hello insiders, welcome to the show. Today I'm sad to say that I'm by myself, but nonetheless it will still be an informative episode. So I want to focus a bit on moving to the United States to work. We hear so many things in the news these days that um, we really don't even know what to believe. But um, is it still feasible to go to the United States at this time? Well... The quick answer is yes, because the United States Census Bureau projections shows that there is a heavy demand for goods and services, and it is growing. This demand is also growing faster than the workforce and should remain the same until 2030. Don't take my word for it. You can check the Bureau statistics. The link is in the notes, all right? So you can check the notes for that link. Incredibly, the United States will have an 8.2 million worker shortage. Thomas Lee, head of research at Fundstrat Global Advisors, states that this will be a great shortfall. So after hearing about this shortfall, I decided to do some digging of my own to learn more. I found that the reasons behind this, um, one of the main reasons is the baby boomers are retiring, therefore leaving many vacant positions but in addition to this america has a serious opioid crisis people are dropping out of the american workforce due to opioid addiction i mean it is a very serious thing you can find out more about this on the national institute on drug abuse um, website and you can also find that um link in in the description notes but How can you get to the to the USA? I hear you ask. Well, today you are in luck because I will share a few ways to migrate to the United States. You can go as a non-immigrant worker. And um, in previous episodes, I spoke about the J-1 visa and the J-2 visa respectively. Well, today I will tell you about a few more. So let's dive in. First, you have the E2 and the E1 visa permit, and this is really for investors and um, traders. Then, you have the H1B visa permit, designed for skilled, educated foreign workers who are employed in specialty occupations. Then, you have the H2B visa permit, designed for temporary, though not agricultural jobs such as truck drivers, positions at ski mountains, hotels, beach resorts, and those types of jobs. Okay, then we have the L1 visa for intra company transfer. The L1 visa facilitates the temporary transfer of foreign workers in a managerial, executive, or specialized knowledge category. You must continue working with an office of the same employer or its parent branch or a subsidiary or an affiliate okay then you may also decide to do go on a permanent category for the permanent category or immigrant workers you have the eb1 which is your green card for persons with extraordinary ability in the sciences, arts, education, business, or athletics. EB2 Green Card Permit Based on exceptional ability and professionals with advanced degrees and qualified alien physicians who will practice medicine in an area of the U.S. 
which is underserved. You also have the EB3 green card permit designed for skilled workers minimum of two years of training and experience so you must be trained um, in order to go on the EB3. Professionals with bachelor's degrees and unskilled workers. You have the EB4 green card permit special immigrants including religious workers employees and former employees of u.s government abroad and translators with the u.s armed forces can get this one and and lastly you have the eb5 green card permit this visa is reserved for business investors who invest 1 million or 500,000 if the investment is made in a targeted employment area in a new commercial enterprise that employs at least 10 full-time US workers for more details on these and other visas please visit the US Department of Homeland Security site um, I am NOT an immigration officer so please do your due diligence that is very important okay what type of jobs are available I can hear someone asking well according to career builder study immigrant workers looking for employment can expect to find opportunities across multiple industries namely information technology financial services professional and business services manufacturing transportation healthcare retail in these industries persons can expect to fill positions that are technical administrative manual sales related creative financial and managerial so there is a wide variety of jobs to be filled if you do get the opportunity to go to the states so what's next what do you do after getting to the states well in a previous episode um, the American dream you can hear more about this you can hear more about this that was in episode 18 so definitely go back and, and check those episodes to get more information well with a low 4.1 employment rate in the USA at this time, it is a great time to be looking for a job. You can learn more about this at CNBC or Business Insider. So they will give you the number, the exact number of where the unemployment rate is at. But yes, it is at a record low at this time, believe it or not. But for now, let's continue. Let's learn about the 10 best cities to start your job search. Indeed.com rank these based off salary, work life, job security, and advancement. You can learn more about this at Indeed.com. And of course, I will have the link in the notes. So, here are the cities. Ta -da 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 -da. Number 10. Washington DC Number 9 Seattle Washington Number 8 Miami Florida Number 7 Sacramento California Number 6 Minneapolis Minnesota Number 5 Los Angeles California Number 4 San Diego California Number 3 Boston, Massachusetts. Number two, San Francisco, California. And number one, San Jose, California. Insiders, I cannot say it enough. Please do your own research. Yes, I have done my due diligence, but please do yours too. I have added the links for your perusal. Also, when it comes to moving to the United States for work, no place is best to start than the websites of the U.S. Citizenship, Immigration Services, 
that's uscic.gov and the department of state that is travel.state.gov those are the best websites to start your research i'll repeat uscis.gov and travel.state.gov start your research there if you are planning to move to the united states you won't regret it believe me once again you can find the links attached to the notes in the show description happy searching all the best take care Thanks for listening today. I hope you are inspired. You can find more helpful and motivational material at globalinsidersgroup.com. That is, insiders with an S. You can also keep in touch at Global Insiders on Instagram. See you next time. But remember, you can be your own superhero. (laughs) Bye.